Good morning, folks. Another day at the hostel shop. I had a nice sleep in the van, but Honza was sleeping across from me. Two smelly dudes sleeping in the same van. Don't make the air quality very good. So all the windows are open and the fans are blowing as much air in there so they can recycle it and get all our smelly asses out of that van and get the air smelling nice again. We should make it into a... <laughs> we should bottle it, make it like a perfume. Ode to dude. Oh, what the hell is that? Hansa is not going to be doing any riding today because he's got to stay here. It's, it's sort of like a, like a half trade fair expo or whatever. So there's three rides today. There's a long one, which I really wanted to do, 40 miles. And then there's a half that's 21 and a half miles. And then there's a short one that's 10 miles. I got to do a talk today. Because of that, I, I'm not going to do the long one. I want to make sure I'm back so I can prepare for my, my little talk. Awesome. Well, everybody have fun. We'll see you back here. We'll have a food truck by the time you get here. We will have axe throwing when you get back here, clinics. Um, we're going to have a celebration cake. We have kids' takes and water balloons and squirt guns if we, you guys want to get sprayed or blow balloons or blow uh, bubbles. So have fun. So we're, we're be gonna, safe. This, this is going to be control. Nobody's going to win anything on this and, uh, until we get to the corner, then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Have a good ride, guys. Yeah. Good ride. Yep. Yeah. Staring in the sun, so I'm going to be super squinty right now. <laughs> so this is the owner of Hostel Shop. Hi! And I'm Brianna Vandehei. Nice to say hi to everybody. <laughs> You've got an awesome shop. Thank you. It Thank is beautiful. You. It's yes. beautiful inside. It's yes. like homey. You know? it is. It's very comfortable. It is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the 50th anniversary for Hostel Shop. Yeah. Rolf and Barb had this for right, 45 right. years. This is my fifth year here and our fifth anniversary as well of the uh, Pedal Point Rally. Very awesome, very yeah. awesome. Well, I'm glad to take part of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to hear your talk later. And yeah. It's gonna be a good time. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. Yeah, so the hostel shop is, uh, it's like a, a cycling shop. I wouldn't even say bike shop. It's a, not a trike shop or a bike shop. It's a cycling shop. It's pretty awesome. I've been in a lot of bike shops. I've been in a lot of cycling shops. This one is pretty awesome. Plus, I don't know who's designing their clothes and stuff, but like the like the style of their clothes and stuff is really, really nice. Like, I want to buy a few of these shirts. They got plenty of high-end bikes, really nice apparel. They got some Delta trikes. These are Delta trikes. These have one wheel in the front and two in the back, and then these are Tadpole trikes with the two in the front and the one in the back. Anyways, it's about 15 minutes till I. Uh, Head off on the 21 mile. As long as you don't get hit by the uh, angler fish. It's funny, like almost everybody's got some got some juice, you know. They're electric powered. I'm not. All you electric guys. Hey, we take what we're given. We're team. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, I'm turned off on my electric. I just gotta. I'm getting a workout here. Off, we're just carrying more weight. Yeah, that is true. That is true. You're even more hardcore. <laughs> Bring it in. I can't shout that much. Our megaphone broke. <laughs> is anyone Green. in this group colorblind? I'm regular blind. Regular blind. Okay. <laughs> you have a partner though, right? Please? You're regular blind. <laughs> okay. Heck, there will be a food truck here. There will be axe throwing. Got seminars with our vendors, with Matt Glott. With Azub, with uh, Scott Christofferson on roadside maintenance and home repair, repair stuff. So, and, and one last thing with the arrows. Before you get to a corner, there's arrows at the corner. There's an arrow. Then after you turn or go straight, there's a confirmation arrow in green. I painted everything, including my shoes, when I was out there. <laughs> I haven't been doing uh, any big rides in quite some time. And uh, little dumb things like charging my Garmin computer. It's dead, so I'll have no data for this ride. I should have checked it. I think it, I must have left it on instead of powering it down. we uh, auditing film clips for a long time after this, Matt. I, it's not something I'm, I'm not used to, though. Okay.
that's kind of interesting the guy in the back in front of me is legally blind and then the guy in front of him is his guide so they're sort of you know working together to ride which is nice there's something comfortable about riding a trike it's you're sitting in such a comfortable position nature's just sort of floating past you like a relaxing floating stroll because you kind of feel like you're floating nice How's it going? Yeah. Doing well? Yep. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I'd like to, a large lemonade. A large lemonade. No lemonade. change needed. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yep. Might have donuts, Dan. That's a good idea, set up a lemonade stand. I thought it was the ingenuity of those kids. Come to, come to find out one of the kids' brothers works at the hostel shop. So it was an inside job. They knew that the crew would be coming past their house, so they set up a lemonade stand. Still, give them kudos for that. Real bummer that I don't have my drone. These would have made really nice drone shots, and I've been kind of excited about getting back because I haven't flown it over, a, over me riding in a while, and especially with a bunch of other trikes on the road. It would have been so nice. And if you guys don't understand that reference, yesterday I, I flew it, and it just, I don't even want to say it was the drone's fault. I, it was my fault. Flew into a tree, which has happened from time to time. I'm used to that. But the arm snapped off. You can replace props, but you can't meet, remake plastic parts. It's toast, but it gives me a chance to just sort of smell the flowers around me, listen to some good music, talk to my neighbors, say hi to the horses, which I'm seeing from time to time. An interesting life living out here. Neighbors are some distance away, not like suburban Michigan. Certainly like not like the high rises of China. I wonder if their kids get addicted to like iPads and technology or if they're able to refocus them on taking care of the land, you know? I would imagine there's a lot of stuff to do. Things to do. Well, we added a mile and a half, I think. <laughs> yeah, we went straight. Hello. I don't think so. There should be arrows if we were. Man, I follow your videos. Yeah? And you are such an inspiration to me. I oh. almost you want to cry. Oh. I started writing in September because of you and Sylvia. Oh, cool. I lost 82 pounds. Fantastic, congratulations. Yeah. Give me a fist bump. <laughs> Our batteries at our hotel. Oh, okay. I'd tell you my name, but you know it already. Yeah. All right. Looks like the church is right here, and we're at the halfway point. Man, that uh, that corn is comically green. It's like drawn with a with a paintbrush. <laughs> what are you cool. riding today? The Azub? Uh, yeah, my my uh, Tie Fly X. Oh, 26 okay. inch wheel. You got it. You yeah, got that it. thing is a machine. I tell it's you, a monster. Awesome, it's a monster. <laughs> this one looks comfy. It is. This is like beyond comfortable. Yeah, I bet. And with the headrest and everything. Yeah. Like, a lot of you ever, times you ever we, just I, fall asleep at the I've, wheel and then. Well, like I've a actually torpedo. I go camping in this, right? And I've actually considered like instead of bringing the tent yeah. and, the, and the and the cotton all that stuff, like just like. Yeah. I mean, literally, I'm. I'm You're in here. super chill right now. He has all the covers to go. The, yeah. Cool. What do you call those? Yeah, the, the canopy. Level, this, this level yeah, I got, I got the, the one for like the bald head, you know, so mm -hmm. the sun's not beating right. on my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Luann. And then uh, I got the under here. There's a thing that comes out, and it goes like this. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And then there's uh, one of those flavor tops. Car bag. In the heat like this, Brandy, doesn't that get warm in there? Oh my. No, goodness. actually, I'm cooler. I'm in the shade. He's got so all the. Made. All yeah, today, today especially head. without the humidity. Yeah, okay. yeah, all yeah that's all nice. Comes out of your head, and the wind is just like hitting you in the face. So like, yeah, I'm, I don't know why. It's just it's cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. <laughs> there you guys are. I've seen that fine yellow fellow. <laughs> How you doing? Fine yellow fellow. 
Here's my bell over Yeah, there. yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yay, Jayo! Jayo, Jayo! I had a bad morning. I lost my phone. <laughs> and then. Three I minutes give her later. Bike back to <laughs> oh, me too, me too. We're missing one guy. Oh, no. I call, where are you? He thought, I said, Andy, there's no way they guide you down Highway 10. He was going down deep. We wanted more miles anyway. There you go. They call this guy the uh, Velo Whisperer because he takes uh, he takes Velomobiles that have had an accident or whatever and, and buys them and then soups them up and sells them. Yeah, he had to rebuild this, this section here. Had some damage. Guy went through a chain link fence and he, uh, he repaired it. This is his personal ride. Last year he said I probably had two years to go. So maybe I only have one year, but maybe if I bike enough, so. Okay, back on the road. I, I think that I am actually gonna ride a Velomobile for the first time. For those of you that don't know, oh, I'm trying to get the shade out, there we go. For those of you that don't know, Velomobiles are uh, those torpedo looking uh, three-wheeled trikes. You got quite a set up there. Oh, thank you, thank you. You do too. We're brothers. Only you got power. I'm not power. Don't, don't you want power in here? No, sir. Oh. I am hoofing it. Okay, while you're a young fella, you can, <laughs> you can handle it. I'm an old geezer. Well, you know, I'll add some power down the road someday. I just got this in January. Oh, cool. Although I got over 2,600 miles on it. Great! <laughs> Yeah, it got to the point, do I want to give up biking? No, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm going well, I'm going to cheat. I'll go to the assist. I don't look at it as cheating, you know? It's it's just any way to keep going. Well, It's better true. this than sitting on a couch somewhere, oh, or yes. if you got to go three wheels, that's fine. If you got to add power and it's assist, that's fine. And even down the road, if you had to go full power just to get you under the sun, out yeah. in the air, I won't fault you at all. I mean, if you're going and you're not telling people you got power, okay, that's that's another thing. If you're laughing at everybody else, ha 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 ha. Meanwhile, you're not touching those pedals. That's a little. That's a little rough. What's your name? Will. Will. Yeah. I'm Matt. Pleased to meet you. Matt. Nice to meet you. She has been collecting flowers on her helmet. How's it going? <laughs> uh oh. That's the end of the tour. Here's a nice little one. My trike legs have <laughs> have retired. Thought they were retired. They're like, what the hell? This again? Which is good, I need it. But it was a good ride. Some nice people along the way. Hostel shop straight up ahead. There's a tent set up with some drinks, probably some food or, or something. It's about noon. I have a talk at about two o'clock where I'll just record that. And uh, yeah, all, all will be right with the world. Oh, it looks like we turn here. Must be going around the back or something. The talk I'm gonna give is gonna be about my tours through Asia and like my story so far. I've been absent full touring for so long that I'm, I find myself rehashing this story and I don't want to become I don't want to become that guy that uh, that talks about the high school football game for his whole life you know like Al Bundy yeah it was a show in America called Married with Children and this guy always talked about how he scored four, four touchdowns in one game and, and basically lived that his whole life and carried that with him you know there was that was a high point and there was no high point past that I'm not saying that I haven't had any high points but uh, I do miss continuation of the, of the big story. So I'm hoping that with the completion of my van and me getting out here and riding around a little bit, it'll incentivize me to start telling new stories and creating new stories that I can tell later on. Because I've got that, I've got my story pretty well, pretty well hashed out. I only have a half hour talk. 
So, a half hour, you're gonna have to stop me. Like, I, I'm just getting warmed up at like 45 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I'll pull up my map, answer some questions, talk to some people. I feel like there's gonna be a new set of people that haven't seen my talk yet, which will be nice. When I was in Germany, it was it was funny because we were, we were at the Spetsy show and uh, I was talking and I had everybody raise their hands. I said, how many of you people know who I am? And it was just a few hands up and I was like, great. Because if like too many people put their hands up, what the hell story am I gonna tell somebody? If you watch my vlogs, you pretty much know everything about me anyways. So I like to find people who have no idea who this goofball is and I can kind of tell them some new stories. Was it good? Yeah. A lot of straight roads. I missed a turn, so I ended up going about two miles the wrong way. <laughs>